Hi everyone, my name is Tolani and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create, save and export your own custom color grading lot preset inside new video editing app. So without further ado, let's dive in. I'm sure a lot of you have do color correction and I've heard about color grading. If you haven't, you should, then you are in the right place to learn. So before I start showing you how to create and export your very own custom lot preset, let me quickly introduce the meaning of lot for those that didn't know what it means. So what is a lot? A lot is basically a file of data that hold color grading information that tells any programs that can use it to apply that same color grading information is holding onto the new clips in query to make it look crispy and cinematic. As we all know, many advanced software can use lot preset, but over the years, we haven't seen any mobile app that allow the use of custom lot preset, except this beast mode video editing app that allow that. So now it's make it very easy to share your editing style with your friend. The most amazing things about this app is that it has an endless possibility editing features to create amazing effects you never imagined. So let's take a look of how to create, save and export your very own custom lot inside no video editing app. So let's dive in. But before we start creating and export a new custom lot preset, I would quickly love to show you what lot actually look like and what information does it hold. So now I have this clip right here. When I play it up, this is what it look like. Can you see? So I'm going to be importing my own lot preset, which I take a lot of time to create to make it look crispy. You can check links in the video description to all my lot preset and into templates that you can load up on Note Video Editing app to speed up your edit 10 times faster. So I'm going to be importing my own custom lot, which I have created on these clips right here to show you what information does lot preset holds. So I'm going to go into what, then go to templates. It's going to take me to my folder where I save all of my lots. Can you see my lots, my into templates, my transition? So the lot I'm going to be using is called the utility lots. So now it's going to so now it's going to decode the template and import it into my timeline straight away. So now this is how the lot file will look. So you're going to click on it, and this is the actual lot, and this is the lot holder. So I'm going to hold on this right here and drag it all the way out. And drag it on the way out and delete this bad guy because it's a folder it's not a lot so then click on the lot itself and drag it to the front so now as you can see when you click on the lot you're gonna see a bunch of information that representing the lot these are the information that the lot is holding the black the white the shadow which are set in accurate measure which you as well need to set to achieve a crispy look so this is the video right here when we play the video this is how it looks as you can see in its raw footage, as you can see in its raw footage, this is how it actually looks. But when I drag it into this custom lot that has color grading information, it's going to apply that same color grading information onto this clip to make it look crispy. So let me drop it into this color grading lot which I create. Awesome, right? So let's place it back and let's see how crispy it looks. Can you see how crispy cinematic it looks? So this is basically what lot actually mean. So when we click on this, it's going to show you a bunch of information which I have set. So which I'm going to teach you as well how you can create your own as well. So you can have your own style of vlogs or type of gaming or all kinds of stuff. So you people can as well admire or your own color grading lot preset as well. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be deleting this, my own custom lot which I have created. Then I will start from scratch, which I'm going to be showing you how you as well can create your very own custom lot so people can admire your own style of vlogs or gaming or productions. So I'm going to be what? Stopping this video right away. So I'm going to be clicking on the lot itself and drag this footage outside. Then I'm going to delete this, my own lot, which I have created. You can find links to all my custom lots and intro templates in the video description. You can download it and start load it on your note video editing app to speed up your edit 10 times faster so what you're gonna be doing now let's say you have your clip right here on the timeline as you can see this is the video i call it scene one if you want to rename your video you can come click on it then click on this pencil icon right here then you rename it then after you are okay with the rename i can name this let me say i can name this too if i like so just name me anything you like that you make you remember whenever you are editing in node so now i have this video in my timeline so what i'm going to do now is i need to what create a what a color grading profile so that will hold that information as you can see in the lot which we apply in the previous 
So I need to create a profile that is going to be what holding that information. So what I'm going to be doing now is click on this plus icon right here, then go to group. This group is an adjustment layer. It's, you can use it to, to pre-compose editing or likewise, you can use it to color grade entire clips at once without having issue with contrast and loss of color profile. Likewise, you can use it to add effects on overall clips. I have a bunch of tutorial that talks about how to use this group to speed up your edit 10 times faster. So you can find, so you can check on my channel by searching adjustment layer. So you can get the tutorial about this group. So it's explaining how the group is useful. So what we're gonna be doing now is you have created this and this is your video that you wanna create color grading profile for. So what I'm gonna be doing is that whenever you import a layer, always name it so you don't get confused. So now I'm gonna go into this pencil icon and name this adjustment layer and hit okay, boom. As you can see, it's gonna name it adjustment layer so i don't get confused i know this is my video and this is my adjustment layer that is holding that i need to give a color grading profile to hold my information so i can apply the information on my clip slip in query so what i'm going to be doing now is i have the adjustment layer as you can see in my timeline right here this is it it's going to name it group but when i come back right here it's going to be showing me the adjustment layer and the video so adjustment layer is going to line out on top of the what on top of the video so what i'm going to be doing now is to drag this my clips right here into this adjustment layer so now i have this my clips inside this adjustment layer what this is basically depicts is that you want to apply a color grading profile onto these clips right here so this adjustment layer can hold that information so whenever you export it it's still going to hold that information so so you can reuse it on your next project or share with your friends so what i mean is that if you click on this clip on its own and you start adding color grading and color cor color grading and color correction on it directly what this means is that you cannot reuse this color grading information again on the next clip except if you are trying to start copying and paste which is very tedious so what you're going to be doing is that the adjustment layer is the best so you can apply that color grading profile information onto this adjustment layer so whenever you import it as custom lot it's still going to hold that information so whenever you need it you want to import it back into the node video editing app all you just need to start doing is just to click on your video or your video and start dropping it into this adjustment layer that is what we call non-destructive workflow because when you add it on the clip directly it's called destructive but when you add it onto the word adjustment layer is non-destructive which is the best way to speed up edit because it's not going to be wasting your time it's just going to be speeding up your edit 10 times faster by you just dragging and drop them into the adjustment layer then the, the, the color information is going to be applied across all the world footage so now i have this adjustment layer and the clip inside so what i'm going to be doing is that i want to make sure that is i'm not applying it onto this clip direct i'm going to make sure that i'm clicking on this adjustment layer as you can see this border right here is telling you that the information is going to be applying onto the adjustment layer directly so what i'm going to be doing now is to go into this add property right here then then you're going to be seeing these two these two color grading profile right here they are highly important because there is no way you can achieve this script c lot look without having knowledge about color grading and color corrections because these two are highly important if your color correction is not accurate there's no way you can achieve a a fantastic color grade that's why you need to dive in more on color corrections i have a bunch of i have a bunch of tutorial that's talking about this as well how you can what how you can dial in all these slide right here you need to know what slide give what look so you can what as you can see when i load this it's gonna be what it's gonna be affecting the clip inside that means i'm adding color grading profile onto my adjustment layer which is gonna be affecting any clips underneath so i have a bunch of tutorial that is talking about how you can dial in all this to know what slides give what look so you can have accurate basic color corrections for your all your clips so you can your, your temperature will affect overall look so i've explained this in my previous video you can check the link in the video description or check on my channel by searching color grading you see my tutorial that is explaining all of this tab right here in a simple manner so you can understand and start creating your own so having set this onto this clip then you go back to this add property again then you go to your color grading 
likewise i have a bunch of tutorial as well that is talking about color grading so you can check that out as well so you can as well add multiple of it onto your clips you can go to the rg so you can go to the rgb curve as you can see right here this this is telling you the shadow part aspect as you can see it's going to create a shadow why this is controlling the white the white aspect of it so as you can see so you can create you can create points right here so you can dial in you can increase it and you can reduce it so let's say you are okay with how it look after applying the basic color corrections and color grading and you and you like the way it actually looks which is looking creepy so it's now time for you to export it as custom lots and name it your name so whosoever admire the look will always ask for your permission before they can use it on their clips so now we're going to be adding to how to export this as custom lot so you can save it on your phone gallery so you can send it to your friend that actually love the look and they want to copy that same style of color grading you are using in your vlog or in your video so what you want to do is to drag this clip you input into it and drag it all the way out you can decide to delete the clips or you can decide to just hide it so uh, the adjustment layer is just gonna be blank so whosoever you send it to that want to use it is just for them to drag all their clips inside this adjustment layer which will apply all the color grading and color information is holding onto their, their clips so what you're gonna be doing now is just come now click on it then go to your export mode then you're gonna see this parameter right here this is where you set it as custom lots and you can be so you can reuse it or send it to your friend so you want to come down here and change this to 1080p then leave this as 30 or you might change it to 24 then make sure this is on high resolution then you want to come down to this aspect that say append template make sure you check this box which will make this to be on so you want to come down here which say author this is where you put your name as the owner of the as the owner of the custom lot so whosoever want to use it will always ask for your permissions so you're going to come down right here and change it as you can see i've put my channel name as an example so you as well you can as well highlight it and change it to whatever you want it to be let me just use a random keyword so once you are okay with the with the naming you can just hit on okay then now it's time for you to export it so once you click on export the file is going to be what it's going to be exporting so i don't want the video to be long it's going to take a just a minute as you can see a couple of minutes right here to just export the custom lot so once it's export let's say it's as an export so what you want to do if you want to use it let me delete all this file right here let me leave this clip let me leave this clip let me delete this one we, we created so i'm going to delete this so now let's say this is a new project and you want to import that custom lot you export into your phone gallery so this is how you do that you come to this plus icon right here then you go to import then you, you see these two options right here the one you're going to click is the word the template so you want to go into your folder where your video always save so this is the lot right here so you just want to click on it so it's gonna read it as a template as you can see you can read this up this is telling you that you need to append the template code so note video app can read it so once this load it's not going to take a lot of time it's just a seconds it's going to load this as template for you so boom so now as you can see this is the lot it has imported it right here when you click on it the lot is exactly inside you're just gonna drag it out then delete this bad guy i don't know why i always call it bad guy because it's a folder I don't need it so i'm going to delete that and bring this lot to the front so, so let's say you are editing and you have a lot of clips it's just to dr click and drag them into this your custom lot you create as you can see it's going to change the look let's say you have 10 you just click and drag all the 10 clips into this adjustment layer so this is how you create save and export your own custom lot that you can share with your friend that admire your editing style hope you guys have been gaining value from this video so far if you did please be sure to hit the like button and consider subscribe and be sure to leave me a comment about what you think about this tutorial and let me know what tutorial you want to see next in the channel so and as always i'll see you in the next video have a great day bye for now